What is going on everybody? Today we're gonna do a updated tier list with the new season and the patch with the meta switches. Uh, I've been asked multiple times to do another tier list like I did previously from uh, season two. So we're gonna kind of cover what is meta and what is, you know, A, B, C, D tier type deals. So that way you guys can know what weapons you should be focusing on or what you should be using. And then uh, you take it from there. And you know, all of my opinions are just my opinions. Um, I do have, what, 20, almost 2,300 hours of playtime in the game. So with that all being said, we'll just jump right into the weapons themselves. I did make a actual tier tree last time. I'm just gonna do it off this screen um, just cause I'm lazy, so bear with me. Um, you'll still get the same information. So starting with the pistols, G57, it's meta, it's the S tier. There's no reason not to use this, this single two shot. You have the 29 meters, so you can one burst people with it again. Uh, the G57 and the MP28 both got their 2X multiplier headshot back from previously 1.25 when they nerfed the SMGs. MP28 is A tier. It does have a slightly longer two shot range and is basically a pocket V car. So it's still good, 28 rounds, um, slow reload. Same with the Glock if you use the draw mag, but still good damage, good sidearm, uh, low recoil. So yeah. The M44, the damage model on this is A tier because you can one shot people out to 100 meters. However, it is super slow. It is single action. Don't know why, um, but outside of that, it's be because of the skill set that's required to use this thing effectively and be good with it and kind of playing this at more of a placement, not playing aggressive with this. You got to kind of, you know, sit back and play like it's a DMR, essentially. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely a B tier weapon. It almost is borderline C tier just because it is so slow, but you hit your shots, it, it, it's guaranteed two shot kill. It's massive damage. PF51 is C tier just because the damage is so low. It's still an SMG. It has SMG damage. This thing was nerfed and then it was silent nerfed. So it only has the 1.25 multiplier and has very little damage. I believe it is a seven bullet to kill. And if someone's running armor, it's eight bullets to kill. So uh, the new laser pistol, the MVK, is essentially just a burst fire mp28 so again another pocket v car good damage the burst on it unfortunately is bugged so if you try to like trigger finger it to get a very rapid fire weapon out of this thing it will lock up and then it is super slow uh it's even worse than the ac42 when you lock up the ac42 trying to trigger finger it so uh the damage on this is a tier I don't think that this is technically better than the MP28, so I'm gonna still put this as a B tier overall. Once they fix the uh, burst fire bug on it, it'll be A tier and be a little easier to use. Um, it is a two shot headshot, four shot body shot, so a two tap burst mode takes people down pretty quick. So it's good, good damage, but there's just the bug that they need to fix. The 1911 did get a buff to its three bullet to kill range out to 40 meters. Um, it's still to me personally, a D tier weapon. The visual recoil is atrocious, only seven rounds in the mag. Didn't do any justice to the old, good old 1911. This really should be a two shot body um, within probably 14 meters, I would say. And then outside of that, drop it to three bullets a kill. So that's just my opinion. But anyways, it's you know not enough ammo in it to use this effectively as a sidearm and play aggressive. The Rex is good. Uh, visual recoil is bad. That is why it's B tier. Otherwise, it'd be A tier. They did increase the range as well with the uh, 1911 to the Rex as well as a one shot to 40 meters. And when I say one shot, it only does 100 damage, not 120 like the M44 does. So if someone has armor, even if it's just five armor, you will not one shot them. So um, some Irish players I've run into or anyone running plates, you have to hit them three times of the body to kill them. So just keep that in mind but it has good rate of fire they did fix the bug it shoots a little faster it wasn't shooting as fast as it was supposed to so that did get fixed so what did i say c tier b uh a tier damage c tier just for visual recoil and uh reload speed is could be slightly faster the m93 um the fact that you can full auto this is pretty cool uh the damage on it does not match the g57 it only does 22 44 so it's not doing uh, 2856 like I feel like it should be. So hopefully this gets a buff so at some point. The visual recoil on this is terrible. If you full auto this thing and you're shooting anybody at some any sort of range, I'm talking like 20 meters plus, you cannot see what you're looking at. So that needs to get fixed. 
Um, personally, this D tier, I hated getting it tier one. It's fun to use, but man, it's just the visual is just worse than the Rex and the 1911. So um, I would recommend holding off on using this thing unless you just want to use it for nostalgia. But I would wait until they buff this thing. PBX, good damage, no recoil, definitely A tier. Uh, it falls slightly outside of the meta just because on the close combat rounds, the damage drop off after 19 meters is pretty substantial. This is a four bullet to kill within 19 meters with the close combat rounds and then nine meters with standard rounds. So the standard rounds will carry the 22 base damage body further out. I believe it's 39 meters. So if you're a little more further out than playing super aggressive in someone's face with SMGs, the standard extended is probably the go-to. But the reload is pretty slow still, even though they buffed it. Um, overall, good good weapon. No issues with it. Bison S tier meta, 64 rounds or 54 if you want the extended uh, high power rounds to, I think it four shots out to 60 meters. It's either 60 or 75, someone's telling me. I have to test it. I don't ever run high power rounds on this thing, so I haven't tested it in the range, which it would just take me like five seconds to do. So I may do that on my own time here in a little bit, but um, yeah, definitely meta. MP9, B tier, um, great hip fire, low recoil. Um, but anything outside of 30 meters, this thing feels like a pea shooter, unfortunately. And uh, you, we have Focus to blame for this getting nerfed. I'm, I'm fully convinced that Focus's gameplay got this nerfed. So we can blame him. K30, still go bird. It's S tier. Uh, still S tier. It's still S tier. It's still shreds. The time to kill on this thing has barely changed, even with all the recent nerfs. You play this thing up close within 30, 20 meters, it's still going to shred anything up close, unless somebody just lands two headshots in your face with an AR or whatever. But outside of that, this thing just still melts. P90 is actually surprisingly A tier out the gate. This would actually be an S tier weapon if it could perform close to the K30 or the Bison. It has good damage, the recoil is a little finicky, and then no attachments, okay? It's just lacking attachments. It has a laser and a red dot and a flash otter, but you know, it, it doesn't have anything else for it. So it doesn't need an extended mag, right? It comes with the, the top fed 50 round mag. So we're good on that, but it needs something else to kind of compete, like champ muzzle break or something, maybe help with the recoil a little bit. Outside of that, it's still overall pretty solid. AKS, still not good. And when I mean not good, the rate of fire buff for the damage output this thing has, if you run the factory barrel, it will four shot pretty far. I think it's 39 meters. So they did increase the four shot range for this, which is good. But again, it's still slow. The, it just doesn't compete. It really doesn't. The rate of fire on this needs to be probably in line with the Bison. It needs to probably go up to 700. And then we're, we can start talking with this gun being decent. And, and again, this this deserves a drum mag. This needs at least a 40 round drum mag for this to kind of be viable. So, needs more attachments. It's my biggest complaint with the vault weapons. M5, A tier, it's not meta. It's good. It's still viable. Does good damage. If you want to do more damage at range, put the standard extended rounds on this. Uh, basically, no recoil. This is essentially built as a carbine slash um, hybrid SMG type deal. So that's what the build I run this as. So good rate of fire, good damage, nothing to complain about this. AK is also A tier. I'd say up close it's B tier just for the rate of fire. Um, good damage at medium range. This thing does significantly better than the M5 at range and I'm talking like 50 plus meters. So Little recoil to deal with. It does have more recoil than the M5 because the M5 is virtually a laser beam, but this thing will shred if you land your shots at range. And if you're within 10 meters, it will two shot headshot. So that's always a good bonus to have. Um, also keep in mind the high power rounds don't increase the two shot headshot range. Both standard and high power do two shot headshot damage at within nine meters. It doesn't increase. The SCAR, meta, S tier. Uh, still two shots within 50 meters. I actually had somebody ask me to use this on stream last night. I dropped over 140 kills on Spearhead with this thing, and I basically was falling asleep using it. So, take that for what it's worth. Gun is still good. Very minimal recoil to work with. If you're having issues with recoil, throw on the Champion Muzzle Break. That'll help significantly. But the meta attachment is the TAC comp. I run the Wrapped or the TAC. I don't use Champion on this one. AC-42 is the hidden meta. The rate of fire... It says 480 now, and that's if you normal burst it. It actually is still 1200 if you can full auto this thing. And I've got videos on my channel, or you can come in the stream, and when I'm practicing the range, I'll, I'll practice my trigger finger for the weapon before I go play. Uh, you can still full auto this thing, so 
it still does the 1200 and this will one burst you out to 100 meters if you land all three headshots it's very rare that you do that but it does massive damage at close to you know almost long range so if you can use it effectively it's s tier outside of that skill set wise there is a skill gap for it it's probably a b tier just because it's a burst weapon and most players don't like bursts everyone kind of prefers full auto overall am 40 um i still think this is b tier it's good the, it's still good i i forced myself to use this so you see the mastery level on that says 153 over the last week and a half or so i've been forcing myself to use this more so I, i've gotten about 2,000 kills with this weapon over the last like 10 days or so um the, the recoil is a little different than the ak and the m5 of course the m5 just doesn't have any but this one has a little bit of a different recoil pattern to it that i've been trying to get used to and i think i finally started to catch on to it so once you get the recoil down on this thing it's it's definitely a tier overall but the damage outside of 50 meters for me just feels like it's a pellet gun if you don't land the headshot so it's kind of like the mp9 in the ar version for damage but up close it's shreds it, it acts almost exactly like an smg m16 b tier uh they buffed it the heavy barrel does the correct 2.15 now uh, good rate of fire, good attachments, selection, but no extended mag. This thing really needs an extended mag, in my opinion. So, uh, and di honestly, I really want the All Out Warfare red dots. The um, the old reflex sights are cool. I mean, they're okay, but I, I prefer the All Out Warfare sights over this. I would even prefer the K8 Hollow. Or may let me change the crosshair size on the Cobra sights. That would be neat, because. That's what all the sweats ran in, in BF4 scrims on the AKs and everything was Cobra, and you could change the crosshair size on the scope to fit to your liking. Um, the ACWR. Uh, again, this thing is the worst AR out of the bunch. Um, the only thing saving this thing from D tier is the fact that it has no recoil. So, But 25 round mag, really weird, doesn't make sense to me. Uh, the rate of fire got nerfed from you know, 880, 920 back in the old battlefields to 720 i don't know why they decided to make this thing so slow but it is um but it does have no recoil it does the ar damage correctly and so but and it's just you're reloading this thing constantly not it's it, i don't recommend maining this thing at all a91 is just a carbon copy of the m16 same rate of fire good damage this one also has the correct damage output for the heavy barrel it will do 2.5 if you choose to use the heavy barrel over the factory barrel same thing lacking extended mags and attachments other than that the damage is good the rate of fire is good uh, i'd say b tier m416 uh c tier right now just because the heavy barrel doesn't do the right damage model it's uh stuck on the old 2x so hopefully they fix that later and again just extended mags for all of these guys 30 rounds isn't enough to kind of play super aggressive and kind of clear out a point, this and that. Like, that, those extra 10 bullets do matter, so. And then the reload, again, on all of the portal weapons are super slow compared to the all-out warfare weapons because of that delay from putting the animation of reloading the mag and putting their hand back on the front of the barrel. So, um, they're, they're, they did say they're going to fix that, but until they fix it, it's the, the reloads just don't match, in my opinion. So, C tier, B tier damage. Um, but overall C tier, just because of the bug. LCMG is meta, it's S tier, uh, specifically because of all the versatility with it, all the attachments that go with it, the fact that you can two-shot with it as well with the standard rounds takes it out a little further. Uh, you, the close combats will two-shot you out to 19 meters, so meta overall, good recoil management, things like that. Uh, PKP, I'm going to... The rate of fire is good, recoil is pretty much non-existent once you hold the trigger down for about 30 40 rounds uh and then um just no attachments for it right it just comes out the gate good so it's it's b tier just because of no attachments and then you know obviously it comes with the bipod so you can lay down and have no recoil at medium range and kind of mow people down if you choose the avanti still s tier even though this did get a silent nerf to its damage it no longer does 2652 it does 2244 so that was a good silent nerf to this thing but again, it has no recoil. Um, it's pretty much the catch-22 of all the LMGs, if you will. It has all the attachments you could want for an LMG and has no recoil. So you just have to put one more round into a person to take them down. However, it still does exceptionally well at pretty much any sort of engagement you could think of. Again, like I said before, all these LMGs are essentially 200-round ARs. They, they don't have a real place in the game as an LMG. So 
Uh, we'll see if they rework them, but probably not. In my, I just don't think it'll happen. To the M60, I still don't think this is good for the rate of fire it has. Um, and we'll, we'll get to the 240. But basically, since the 240 came out, if you like using portal weapons, just use a 240. It's so much better than the M60. Uh, C tier, still. Even though they fixed it and the damage is good, uh, rate of fire is still trash. Um, in this game where you have a 45 hertz server and uh, rate of fire is law, when you have low hertz servers, you want more bullets out per second. So the, the fact that this thing shoots less than one bullet per second is unacceptable in these servers. So uh, C tier, just because the damage is good. Also lack of attachments. X8 LMG, definitely A tier. If this thing had attachments, this would be meta. Um, good recoil, non-existent recoil, good reload speed because it's a drum mag and it comes with a red dot and that's about it. So yeah, I don't have anything else to say about this thing. It was fun to get tier one. Uh, it does the same damage model as the Avanci, it's 2244. Um, but you can keep your shots on target just because it doesn't move. 240 is A tier. If this thing had attachments, it would also be meta. The damage is nuts. It's 28 base, 60 headshot. So it even does more than a 2x, which I think is a bug. I don't think it's supposed to do 60, but it does 60.8 damage to the head. And you can test all this out in the range. So uh, the recoil on mouse and keyboard is a little finicky. It does have this weird up and to the right feel after about 50 rounds or so. So trying to compensate for that is a little tricky, especially on high sensitivity for myself. But if you're on slower, it might be a little easier to manage. On controller, when I was watching Max play six on YouTube, he has virtually no recoil with this weapon. It, I was actually like dumbfounded at how silly this thing was watching him just mow down the team with it. So if you're on controller and you've got your settings done correctly, uh, I would highly recommend you looking at his settings video for controllers for all you controller players. Um, I would highly recommend taking that, giving that a gander and then uh, adjusting as needed and trying this thing out after you adjust your controller correctly because again the inputs for both controller and mouse and keyboard are still jacked so until they fix that which they never will by the way just so you guys know it'll never get truly fixed they can slightly make it better but it'll never get fixed that's a whole other discussion but anyways a tier weapon good damage uh insane rate of fire for an lmg and it just mows people down and you can put a bipod on this thing as well DM7 is A tier. People sleep on this thing. I don't know why, but it seems like all the new players are using this just because it's a starting weapon that most guys get. Uh, it's still two shots pretty far out. I believe it's 75 meters. At 75 or 100, it'll two shot. I know the SVK is a two shot out to 100 with standard rounds. So I think this is 75 with standards. High power rounds, a three shot no matter what. So it's a two shot no matter what at any range. Um, but I play this more aggressive, so I run close combat. And I think within 29 meters, it's a two shot. And it has no recoil. You can trigger spam this thing all day. Even with standard rounds, you throw, you could even put like a 4x scope on this thing for you controller players, and it will almost not move the scope, just from what I've seen. But I, like I said, I'm not a controller player, so I don't know, so I'm just going off of what I've seen. SVK is B tier. Um, damage is definitely A tier, but the recoil on this is a little unforgiving at times. Uh, you can run the high power round, so you can two shot people out to 150 meters if you so choose this is basically like a semi-auto sniper honestly so um the svk with standard rounds like i said will two shot out to 100 but reload attachments you really got to kind of play with the attachments to get a recoil that that is to your liking because the uh, kick up into the right is pretty extreme if you're playing at those medium long range distances the V-Car is B tier. This is a meme weapon. Uh, it does good damage up close. If you can trigger finger it, it does pretty good damage. It will two shot up close. But again, it does no damage out, out range. It's like five, six bullets a kill if you're talking like 70 meters plus. So it's kind of like you have to play up close with this thing if you want to make it useful and be effective. So the BSV is still S tier. We'll still three shot you, two shot you out to 75 meters. Um, there, in my opinion, is no reason not to use the high power rounds on this thing at all. Uh, I've seen some people use the CQC rounds every once in a while, but the damage just doesn't match with the recoil it has, personally. So, uh, this thing is still annoying to die to. But yeah, still meta. All the snipers, okay? All the snipers are in their own way in A tier. I'm not going to go through each one because they did get rid of the one-shot body mechanic. Um, I guess I'm taking blame for that because I've been told it's my fault, so whatever. But, um... The snipers all do fairly well at the intended ranges you're meant to snipe at, okay? 
Uh, the SWS, I think overall between the four of them is probably still the best go-to just for versatility and attachments and the standard rounds, the extended barrel, things like that. But if you want a weapon with virtually no bullet drop, you run the DXR with high power rounds and the gold magnum. Both of these have the lowest bullet drop out of the game. They have the highest bullet velocity in the game. And then the NTW, if you want to one-shot people within 100 meters, this is the go-to. It will still do 120 out to 100 meters. Just keep in mind the bullet drop and the travel time is pretty slow. The bullet drop is fairly significant. So bear with that once you uh, if you use this thing for fun. Um, I don't ever run this thing anymore. I personally don't snipe anymore at all right now just because for me, the way that I play with my playstyle, none of this is fun anymore. It, they could have nerfed the one-shot range down to 10 meters, which would have forced me to play even more aggressive, which I would have been fine with, but since they got rid of it completely, it's like I, I tried doing it. It just doesn't feel the same for me, so I just go back to nor running normal SMG ARs and playing aggressive, but yeah. Snipers in this game are, there's a lack of snipers, right? There's a lack of them. They need more snipers in this game, in my opinion. But uh, overall, they're they're all solid. There's not a single one that is just, like, doesn't perform. You hit, it's, as every sniper, you hit your shots, you get rewarded, right? So, there you go. Um, the MCS, man, I, I don't know what they did to this thing. Uh, if you want to one-shot anybody with this thing, you have to run double op buck, or even the standard double op one. Uh, with the, and even then, the, the standard 0-1 buckshot rounds will only one-shot to 14 meters. If you want to one-shot somebody to 20 meters, it's double up buck. So you're sacrificing rate of fire with reload speed for that. But even then, with because of the servers are so bad, I've, I've seen my shots just not register. Now you put the dot center mass and you'll only take them out for like half health. So I'm not really sure if the rework was necessary on the pump shotties per se, but... They really jack this thing up, and I do feel for you shotgun enjoyers. I personally don't care because I hate shotgun enjoyers, but as an unbiased, you know, review for everybody, uh, I do think that this needs to get fixed. So, the GVT, uh, just because of the skill gap with this, is B tier. It has good damage, good bullet velocity. You run the high power rounds. You can pretty much one shot people in any range that you're gonna kind of try to snipe with this thing at with. So, uh, it's fast. It's good. This kind of reminds me of like the car. Uh, from COD for the rate of fire on this thing. Um, but again, slow reload, only six rounds in there before you have to, you know, lever it up. So, uh, but it is fun. It was fun to use. They did at one point have this thing do the one shot mechanic out to 20 meters as well. And then they were like, no, that's too much. And they dropped it down to five meters. So, and now it's gone. This doesn't one shot either. So, uh, play with it how you see fit. But again, it's just some really at this point, it's like a fun meme weapon. I kind of vaulted this thing as well. I don't think I've touched this thing in ages. The 12M, um, meta, S tier, still annoying. This thing will still one shot you within like five, six meters. It's really annoying. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, really only a problem inside of buildings again. Um, the short, medium range, this thing will still kind of fry you. It's pretty silly, but uh, I don't really know what else they're gonna do to this thing to try to make it balanced. I just don't think you can balance it, so. Uh, and I've still seen people run slug rounds on it, which is pretty comical. That thing will still two tap you pretty far out. So yeah, uh, the crossbow. I'm not even gonna rate this thing at all. It's it's a meme weapon. Uh, it'll one shot you to 34 meters, and then the uh, explosive tips will one shot you if it lands on you, unless except if you're dozer. Uh, also, the explosive damage on this is pretty lackluster. The the AOE on it, it's like like a meter and a half, two meters. It's it's just not good. So. I'm not even gonna bother rating this thing. It's if you want to just kind of like troll around and have fun, go for it. But like outside of that, I'm, it's not an actual weapon. This thing should definitely be like a kit weapon, not even a primary. This thing should not be a primary. <laughs> uh, the railgun is meta S tier. Um, basically hit scan if you're shooting infantry. If you're shooting vehicles further than 500 meters, you do have some lead to to take care of. But outside of that, it's meta. Uh, hit scan. I don't think hit scan should be in this game. Period. That is my two cents on this. I'm not gonna go any further. Abuse it while it's here. It is getting a nerf to vehicle damage here pretty soon. Outside of that, I don't know what else is going to happen, but this thing needs a slighter nerf to travel time. There is no time to react if I'm getting sniped at from 350 meters and I have no idea where the guy's at. So, uh, yeah. Fun to use. Definitely annoying. It's meta. Have fun. Abuse it while you can. Uh, the NVK shotgun. Damage on it is pretty good damage is a tier this thing will one shot you out to 19 meters with the buckshot and then i think it's 16 meters with the flechette but the flechette can armor pen so you can get collaterals with that 
Um, but man, the reload is terrible. Terrible, 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 terrible. So keep that in mind, 10 rounds, you're gonna spend almost a solid like 40 seconds reloading the whole thing if you empty it. So just uh, make sure you position or you switch to your sidearm, whatever you need to do. Uh, just realize this is not reliable. If you dump your entire mag and then you need to reload, you're just not gonna have anything else to fire. So uh, outside of that guys, uh, that is my tier list for season three with patch 3.1. If you guys have any other questions or if you guys have any other opinions that are different or you should say like, oh, well, I think this weapon should be this or, or that or I think this because of X, Y, and Z reasons, by all means, post this up in the comments and I'll get involved in this conversation. I'm more than happy to have not necessarily a, deba a debate but an open, you know, uh, you know opinion-based conversation about these weapons and things like that for all those guys who are, you know, gun-ho about a specific weapon or something like that. I'm open to the opinions and ideas and things like that and we'll go from there. But... Um, if you guys liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you guys liked it and subscribed and things like that. But, um, okay, until the next one, guys, um, that's all I have. My announcement video for the new org that I'm in will be on Friday. So if you guys tune into the stream or you follow my socials on Twitter, things like that, I'm pretty active on there. Uh, stick around for that. Um, so uh, outside of that, I'm still waiting on my one-year anniversary montage from Suljek. Uh, that will be done sometime in January, I believe, as well. So we've got those two big videos are coming out. Uh, until the next one, guys, I'll catch you later.